Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and today I am making steak for dinner and I thought I would have a Caesar salad alongside of the steak. I was looking for a good healthy keto Caesar dressing recipe and I found one on YouTube and this is not my recipe. This is by the channel Keto Connect. They have a really good channel if you wanna go over there and check that out. But I'm using their recipe today and I'm gonna link their recipe down below. So I thought I would make this dressing and just put it on top of some chopped romaine and put a little bit of grated Parmesan on top of that and serve it next to our steaks. Go ahead and mix up this dressing from Keto Connect. The recipe calls for one cup of mayonnaise. I am using the Primal Kitchen avocado mayonnaise. It is made with avocado oil and it's a lot healthier for you. So I've got one cup of that and then I've got a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I have two teaspoons of garlic. This is just the chopped garlic in a jar. Two teaspoons of lemon. I don't have fresh lemon right now, so I'm just using the lemon juice and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm using the Grey Poupon grainy mustard. And one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm excited to try this recipe because I prefer not to have anchovies in my dressing and this does not call for anchovies. You can put anchovies in here if you'd like. And I'm gonna be doing two tablespoons of avocado oil, a half a teaspoon of salt. I am using Redmond's Real Salt, some black pepper. I'm just gonna whisk this up. You can see here it's a really thick dressing. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and in a little while when we get the steak put it in the air fryer, I'm going to chop up some romaine and coat it with this dressing. And then I have some grated Parmesan cheese here that I'm gonna put on top. And I will be back when I throw it all together to show you what it looks and tastes like. So this is a beef chuck steak. We purchased a half a cow not too long ago and I've just been going through cooking the different kinds of steaks. This is not a super thick steak, so I thought I would make this in the air fryer. Chuck steaks tend to be a little more tough, and so they are good made in the Instant Pot or in the Crock Pot, but I am gonna make mine in the air fryer. I have been making pot roast in the air fryer, and it turns out amazing. So I am just going to be putting this seasoning on here. This is just a prime rib steak seasoning. And you can see the ingredients here that I bought from a little store up by our vacation house. And I will definitely be picking this up again. This is really tasty seasoning. And so I am actually just going to sprinkle this on both sides. And then I am gonna put this in the air fryer. We like our steak medium. So I am going to put this in the air fryer, preheated at 400. It's gonna be preheated for about 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna be trying one of these little meat thermometers that I picked up on Amazon. I can link them down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all seasoned up and ready to go into the air fryer. Go ahead and start this at 400. And I am just gonna keep an eye on it until the temperature is at medium. So it has been about 14 minutes. I am getting ready to flip this over, but I wanted to just check my temperature. Okay, it looks to be getting there. Um, I'm gonna flip it over and let it cook a little bit longer. The reason why I flipped it over is I want the same texture that was on the other side to be on this side. I want it to be a little bit of a crusty texture. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and set it for 400 and I will check it in just a few minutes. Here is my dinner, it looks delicious. I believe that the steak is gonna be a little bit on the chewy side. When I think that steak is gonna be a little bit chewy, I slice it really thin and I go against the grain so that it's easier to eat. But I really wanna try the Caesar dressing. All I did was coat the romaine lettuce with the dressing and then I just sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on it and I just mixed it all up and I'm gonna give it a try. So that is a delicious Caesar dressing. It has a lot of flavor to it and it's very creamy and thick and it coats all of the lettuce leaves. It's very, very good. I have a good amount of dressing left. So I'm actually just gonna put it in the refrigerator 
and I will probably be eating this again tomorrow. This is a delicious dressing. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching and God bless.